I have been trying to up my Instagram game by releasing at least three photos a week of random stuff that I want to share. It can be about tech, desk setups, productivity, EDCs, or any inspiring thoughts that may give value to anyone who might see my posts. A number of people have been asking me on what is my shooting setup and how do I take this clean and minimal photos that I share on Instagram. So I thought of making a video about it. Hey, if you are new here, my name is George. I'm a content creator based from the Philippines. Thanks for clicking this and I'm glad you stumbled upon this video. If you like this video and would want to see more content like this, please feel free to press the subscribe button because that would help a lot. So sit back, enjoy the video, and this is how I shoot clean and minimal photos for Instagram. I broke down my shooting process into three easy steps. One, pre-production two, shooting process, and three, editing phase. In this video, we will focus more on the first two steps, so let's get straight into pre-production. This is the phase where I plan out the shots that I will be taking. For this example, I will be shooting a light and minimal themed shot. So to get inspired and get my mind into shooting, I'll be going through my favorite creators on Instagram and see how they shoot product features like the ones that I'm planning to make. Shout out to Paolo and TJ because they are my go-to Instagram accounts when looking for inspiration for product shots. For this feature, I thought of using the fitness band that I have, the Mi Band 4, and the phone that I'm currently using as my daily driver, the iPhone SE 2020, as the subject for this shoot. After getting my mind into shooting these products, it's now time to sketch out a few plans on how I'm gonna frame the shots. I use an app called Concepts to sketch out these frames. So an app called Concepts for Concepts. I usually draw around two to three frames for each product so I could get the most shots on the setup that I'll be building. I don't have a dedicated setup or mini studio for shooting, so I usually build mine from the ground up depending on what the concept requires. So for this shoot, since we're going for a light and minimal themed shot, I have here a PVC board which I will be using as the surface for the shot. Next, I'll be setting up my light. I use a cheap softbox and light stand combo, then I attach a honeycomb grid to avoid light spills on the side. Next, of course, time to set up the camera on the tripod to get ready for shooting. Quick confession, I don't usually use tripods. I like going handheld so I can move around and experiment on angles. But let's face it, focus and sharpness are a bit of a hit or miss when going handheld. So let's proceed and time to shoot the first set. Going back to my sketches for reference, I indicated there that I would want the light to be from around 45 degrees on the left so that it would cast some highlights on the top left corner of the product. Following my sketch, here's gonna be the composition for my first shot. So I'll be using my kit lens and zoom in at 35mm and use a close-up filter to get closer and make it more like a macro shot. I'll be making two versions of this shot, one with a plain and pure white background and the other with a few props on the side because I'm not sure yet which of the two will work with my Instagram feed. It's always better to have options. Again, going back to my sketch, I need to put up the Mi Band upright on its wristband so I might be needing some tapes underneath to keep it in place. Adjust my framing a bit and take one shot capturing the whole thing and take another one that's close up to get the details and then we have this. On to the next one, I'll be shooting my phone, the iPhone SE 2020. I'll be using a different surface this time, a marble backdrop. Then I'll be using two PVC boards, one as the background and one on the other side as a bounce board to fill in some light. As I will be moving my light to the side because I want to try side lighting. Here's what our little studio looks like. Now on to the arrangement of the shot. I'll be shooting two shots here, one a straight on leveled shot with some depth and the other a flat lay. I'll be prepping my phone to stand on the middle of the shot then arrange some props to give it some depth. I'll take one without props on the front and another with some items on the foreground. Here's what we have. Next shots, one of my favorite shots to make. It's time for some flat lay. 
when I'm doing some flat lay shots, even if it's impossible in real life to have these items arranged neatly and completely symmetrical, that's my usual go-to on arranging items for a flat lay. I've already had an idea on what the arrangement would be because of my sketch early on, so I guess we're good with this. And here's the shot. After every shoot, I dump my raw files onto my iPad to get ready for editing. I use two apps for editing my photos, Affinity Photo for cleanup and image corrections, and Adobe Lightroom for color grading. If you want an in-depth look on how I edit my photos, let me know in the comments down below so we could talk about that soon. So there you have it, a behind the scenes look on how I shoot this clean and minimal photos that I post over at Instagram. If you like what you see and you find a value from this video, don't forget to press like and tell me what you love on the comment section down below. Also, it would mean the world to me if you press the subscribe button and why not also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified if ever I have new videos. That's it for now. If you like these photos and would want to see more, head on over to my Instagram account. It's at georgepaolo underscore. Again, it's at georgepaolo underscore. And see you there. If you decide to try out this style of photography, please feel free to tag me and let's talk about your photos. So yeah, see you around the feed and peace.